Hello everybody, I'm Antonina Belkova. Today is Saturday and I will tell you the fairy tale The Little Red Cap. Many years ago there lived a dear little girl who was beloved by everyone who knew her. But her grandmother was so very fond of her that she never felt she could think and do enough to please this dear granddaughter. And she presented the little girl with a red silk cap, which suited her so well that she would never wear anything else and so was called Little Red Cap. One day, Red Cap's mother said to her, Come, Red Cap, here is a nice piece of meat and a bottle of wine. Take these to your grandmother. She is weak and darling, and they will do her good. Be there before she gets up. Go quietly and carefully. The grandmother lived far away in the forest, a long walk from the village, and as Little Red Cap came among the trees, she met a wolf. But she didn't know what a wicked animal it was, and so she was not at all frightened. Good morning, Little Red Cap, he said. Thank you, Mr. Wolf, said she. Where are you going so early, little red cap? To my grandmother's, she answered. And what are you carrying in that basket? Some wine and meat, she replied. We baked the meat yesterday so that grandmother, who is very weak, might have a nice strengthening meal. And where does your grandmother live? asked the wolf. Oh, quite twenty minutes walk further in the forest. The cottage stands under three great oak trees, and close by are some nut bushes by which you will at once know it. The wolf was thinking to himself, She's a nice tender thing, and will taste better than the old woman. I must act cleverly, that I may make a meal of both. Presently, he came up again to Little Red Cap and said, Just look at the beautiful flowers which grow around you. Why do you not look about you? I believe you don't hear how sweetly the birds are singing. You walk as if you were going to school. See how cheerful everything is about you in the forest. And Little Red Cap opened her eyes. And when she saw how the sunbeams glanced and danced through the trees, and what bright flowers were blooming in her path, he thought, If I take my grandmother a fresh nosegay, she will be better much pleased, and it is so early than I can, even then, get there in good time. And running into the forest, she looked about for flowers. But... When she had once begun, she did not know how to leave off, and kept going deeper and deeper among the trees, looking for some still more beautiful flower. The wolf, however, ran straight to the house of the old grandmother and knocked at the door. Who is there? asked the old lady. Only red, little red cap. Bringing you some meat and wine, please open the door, answered the wolf. Lift up the latch, cried the grandmother. I'm much too ill to get up myself. So the wolf lifted the latch and the door flew open. And without a word, he jumped onto the bed and gobbled up the poor old lady. Then... He put on her clothes and tied her nightcap over his head, got into the bed and drew the blanket over him. All this time, Red Cap was gathering flowers, and when she had picked as many as she could carry, she thought about her grandmother and hurried to the cottage. She wanted greatly to find the door open, and when she got into the room, she began to feel very ill and explained, How sad I feel, I wish
wish I had not come today. Then she said, Good morning, but received no reply. So she went up to the bed and drew back the curtains, and there lay her grandmother, as she imagined, with a cap drawn half over her eyes and looking very fierce. Oh, grandmother, what great ears you have, said she. All the better to hear you with, was the reply. And what great eyes you have. All the better to see you with. And what great hands you have. All the better to touch you with. But, grandmother, what very great teeth you have. All the better to eat you with. And hardly were the words spoken when the wolf made a jump out of bed and swallowed a poor little red cap also. As soon as the wolf had thus satisfied his hunger, he laid himself down again on the bed and went to sleep and snored very loudly. A hunter passing by overheard him and said, Hmm, how loudly that old woman snores. I must see if anything is the matter. So he went into the cottage and when he came to the bed, he saw the wolf sleeping in it. What? Are you here? You old rascal, I have been looking for you, explained he. And taking, he, taking up his gun, he shot the old wolf through the head. This is the end. If you like my fairy tale, put some up. See you. Goodbye.